Here we go. Another day, another car. <laughs> this one's gonna be a lot easier to actually use though. As you know, this one runs, well I didn't say, but this one runs and drives, it just has a flat tire. <laughs> there it is, E46 M3 convertible. Uh, I got this thing for a smoking deal. I'll tell the story later, I kinda wanna get this thing off the truck and everything right now, but um, you guys might be able to guess why I have it. Uh, some might not be able to guess, that's okay, we'll get into that. But I'm super excited for this, it's one of my childhood dream cars. Uh, this one is kind of a rough example. According to the owner, the top is shot. Uh, I don't believe that. It's, it's kind of rare on these cars for this top to be completely shot, but oh, look at this. That's pretty damn cool. <laughs> this one will be a lot easier to get off the truck than the, uh, than the E30 M3. it is. Uh, it's pretty rough obviously, that's why I bought this car. I kind of want to drive it though, but it overheats. I think that it needs a new sensor and it has a flat tire as we can see. I'm not sure if it holds air or not. I bet you it doesn't, but that's okay. So I've been, I've been letting it run for a little bit. It still hasn't overheated, so I don't think it's as big of an issue as the owner made it out to be. Well, I appreciate it honestly, obviously. I'm <laughs> not saying that, but uh, I gotta get this up the hill again. You know, maybe one day I'll get a car that uh, just completely runs and drives, no problem. <laughs> so let me back it up on the hill, I guess. The owner left the title under the rear floor mat and it got all wet. I don't really need the title though because it's a ports car, but I do want to drive the car for a little bit because I've never had an E46 M3. So I'm just kind of letting it bake on my sister's car. Um, here it is though. I'm going to put some air in this tire, see if it's holding at all. I live really close to a tire shop, so if they can patch it, that's like a huge dub. But oh, look at this view. Look at this view. One, two, three M3s. Ah, that's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. But uh, the car is really... Oh, sorry, I'm so close. The car is pretty rough. I got it for really, really cheap. I'll say this. An engine, motor, transmission... A DME, all that would have cost me about eight grand. Uh, got this for a little more than that, so like very little more than that. So uh, I like these though. I kind of grew up around this platform, the, the E46 M3. You know, it's funny. I was just, I'm in flip flops right now. I was trying to drive it up the hill. <laughs> Clutch pretty easy on this. Um, it's got a battery light and everything. You know, the funny thing is, I was gonna drive this car home from uh, North or South Carolina, wherever it's from. Thank God I didn't. Um, no shot I would have made it. I mean, just look at the tire, but it had a little bit of trouble starting. I know that might be alarming to some people because as I just said, I'm using it for parts. I'm not worried. We're gonna take apart everything and just redo it. Uh, like, I'll do new rod bearings, vanos. We're gonna do everything. Why don't we take a look under the engine bay, actually? Speaking of uh, doing the engine. It's funny, I already have people wanna buy this car off me and like, it's kinda of tempting to go make a quick like two grand, but there it is. She is gonna go right in there. Oh, I can't wait. This thing's actually not in that bad of condition. It's only got a buck 40 on it. Okay, let's try to put some air in that tire. Shout out my dad getting this air compressor. It is honestly coming clutch so many times. So let me hook this up. I said I live really close to a tire shop, so I hope it's something that can be patched, or at least I can make it there. I'll let it sit in my driveway, see how fast it's leaking. And I have a little test for you guys to see how fast a tire's leaking. Easiest way to tell if a tire's leaking, just get some water and dish soap and spray it on the tire, and it's gonna make a bubble. Hopefully I can get it on camera. I don't even know how much PSI I put in here, just enough to get it off the ground. You guys can probably hear it. I don't know where it's leaking from though. Sounds like it's on the top, so I'm gonna roll the car back a little bit more, see if I can find a leak. I cannot find the leak. I think I might have at least located the area because I backed it up a little bit more, now I can hear it less, so I think most of it's, I think it's almost on the ground, if that makes sense. So, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some air in it, I'm gonna measure it, and then five minutes later, I'll come back and see how much uh, PSI it lost so I know how fast the leak is. I live really close to a tire shop. I'm not gonna say where I live, but I live really close to one. Um, it'd have to be a pretty severe leak for me not to make it there. Uh, the guy said the car overheats, so 
I don't know what he means though. I had it on idle for a little while and it didn't even overheat. So um, let me go put some more air in it and then measure it. Okay, I just put a bunch of air in it. I have my measure thing here. So let's try it out again. Oh. Yeah, it's not leaking too terrible. Um, let's just put some more in it to be safe. I'm gonna, honestly, I think I'm gonna drive this car. Um, I'm not gonna go too far though. I'll stay around my neighborhood. Okay, let's see if we put any more in it. Come on, back to the PSI, here we go. Yeah, okay, let's go for a ride. Okay, where did I put the key? There's one key with this car. So, you know, I have one key with my E30 as well, which is kind of funny. I hate having one key. It's like, okay, here's the key. I, I, I hate having one key. It's a huge pet peeve of mine. I mean, on older cars, I don't really get mad at it, but okay. Let's give it a shot, I guess. Uh, since I might need a tow truck, probably not very unlikely, but uh, this company sent me this thing, told me to review it. I was like, sure. So I actually like it because it's really small. I have another booster pack, but it's huge. So, okay, let's go for a ride now. As we can see, paint's faded. There's really no, I mean, you could save this car very easily. It actually has less miles than he told me. I think he told me 160. It's got 140 on it, so let's do this. Okay, let's go for a ride. It's got some lights. That's okay, though. The car kind of shakes like crazy. I'm not sure if it's because we have a ton of air in one tire or what, but <laughs> yeah, we'll figure it out. I'm going like 30. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to abort mission. <laughs> I'm already turning home. I made it to the end of my neighborhood. I'm looking at the cooling gauge. I think the cooling gauge is gonna keep going up but it keeps shaking. I'm pretty sure it's, well, I know it's the rear right tire. I'm gonna check my basement, see if I have any spare. I definitely don't, but it doesn't hurt to check. Uh, yeah, that cooling gauge is going up a little bit as we can see. That's okay though. Oh, we're just gonna go right home. Yeah, as we can see, it's starting to go up a little bit. The oil hasn't gone up, so it could be a bad sensor. I don't know, but, um, we're just gonna leave it here for now, just in case it leaks oil. <laughs> well, um, that was quite the fail. Um, yeah, kind of sucks. I wanted to drive this car for a few days before I uh, tear it apart, but looks like that's not gonna happen. But yeah, I kind of want an E46 M3. I mean, I know I have one in my possession. Um, I'll see if someone on Facebook Marketplace is like really cheap wheels and tires locally. <laughs> really on Facebook Marketplace trying to find some wheels because I'm like 99% sure that's why the car is shaking like crazy. But uh, this is a pretty good donor car. It's a it's a POS if we're going to be completely honest. Um, nothing too concerning. The only thing that kind of bugs me is, you see like a little bit of rust right there. So I'm just going to replace bolts like that because when it's in the E30, when I pop the hood at car shows and stuff, I would like it to <laughs> look nice. But everything else seems to be in good condition, honestly. Um, I'm gonna part this car out. If anyone wants it, <laughs> let me know. I'm taking, obviously, the motor, the transmission. I think I'm taking the fuel pump as well. Um, there will honestly still be a lot to it. I know it kind of sounds weird, like you'll have the whole interior, all the body, so. Still could be a good donor car for someone else even when I'm done with it. Honestly, if it was a coupe, I would keep the shell and I'd put an LS in here. <laughs> but uh, that, that's, I don't feel like ripping apart a convertible. I, not for me. But um, let me swing this thing around. Yeah, here it is. The headlights are really fogged up. It just sucks I can't drive it. I just drove it really quickly and I, I just know this is a really fun car. So it kind of sucks. But I, I said I'm on Facebook Marketplace trying to find wheels and tires for like the low. I'll drop. I'll drop a little bit of money. I don't know, like 200 bucks. I think any E46 wheels will fit. I, I'm gonna go check Facebook. I'm, I'm gonna check Google right now for like lug nut patterns, but yeah, it sucks the E30 wheels won't fit on here. It's only a four lug, I'm pretty sure. I just realized these are not four lug nuts. They're five and they're both five by 120. Okay, I've been doing a lot of work behind the scenes. Uh, these will not fit. These are actually 15s. I, I thought they were like 17s. So, yeah, these are not going to fit. I've been on... Okay, so, um, I'm just trying to find wheels and tires all day today. I've been, like, calling people, looking around. 
found a really good deal in New Hampshire. So I was like, I can just pick it up right now. And he's like, oh, I'll be back in town in 10 days. Like, I really only have like a month or so with this car till we start tearing it apart. But I'm gonna find some wheels and tires. Uh, I actually found someone on Craigslist who lives in the same town as me. And of course there's no phone number, just an email. So I will probably never hear from them. But um, yeah, so we're gonna drive this car for like a, a month or so and then we'll start tearing it apart. A lot of the parts I'm ordering for the E30 won't be here for a while or they're back ordered. So I really don't wanna tear apart this car and then just kind of have it sit in pieces. <laughs> I wanna tear it apart when everything's all ready to go, if that makes sense. So I guess the next video will be me getting wheels and tires for this car just so I can drive it and then I'll do a review of it and we'll see everything that needs to be done to it. Um, my mechanic is going to come over in a little bit or I'll go to his house or whatever and we'll figure out what's wrong with this car. Uh, I'm going to do rod bearings as I said earlier, vanos, all that stuff. You know, just, just servicing on the engine since obviously I bought this car for just the engine and transmission. A uh, transmission feels good, clutch feels good, that's really good. And uh, the bearings and the transmit, excuse me, like the shifter. Um, it's really loose, so I'll throw a short shifter kit on the E30, and yeah. Um, <laughs> some people on my TikTok were telling me to take off the thing. I'm not going to even bother with it, unless it just clips on. Now, those those are with it, it looks like, so that's going to stay nice and cringe. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, well, I'll do some more videos once I get some wheels and tires, then I can finally drive uh, my childhood dream car. So thanks for watching, everyone.